Hi there. I'm glad you can join me today. Um, it's Thursday, but not too long from now it's going to be Valentine's Day. And I always think when I think of Valentine's Day, I think of chocolate. Because what goes better on Valentine's Day than some chocolate? And I don't have anything chocolate here really at the moment, but I am kind of hungry. And I thought I could make something chocolate because that would be good and that would be a great lunch. What's better for lunch than chocolate? And I, so I got the, here, I have a, uh, I got a brownie kit. So I figured I'd make a brownie for lunch and maybe I can, well, I suppose it's not the healthiest lunch. So maybe I'll have to see it. Maybe I can get, find some chicken and put some cheese and chicken on it. And that would be a pretty good meal, wouldn't it? I have a chocolate chicken cheese brownie. That might be great. And it's kind of Valentine's-y because it's got chocolate in it. So I've got this kit and I've got uh, some other stuff. i got eggs and oil and all that type of stuff here. So I can mix this up because well, I like to cook and I like to bake. And I know you got to put some stuff together here. Uh, I don't have a lot of stuff here in the kitchen, but there's enough that I should be able to do that. And So I think I'm going to look at the directions here. It's got directions on it. And let's see what I need to do. One quarter cup water. That's all I need to add. You will need one quarter cup water. That's not much. That can't be right. I mean, normally you'd put, I mean, if you're making it from a mix even, you got to put eggs in there and, and oil or water too, or, um, you know, chicken if you wanted to have some protein in there. Um, you know, you got to put all those things, maybe butter has to be melted and put into there. Sometimes there's a lot of different things like that. Just water, that's, that's too easy. There's no way that just putting water is going to give me a brownie that looks like that. I don't think that's going to work. Just add water to the mix and mix it together and then heat it up. I'm not so sure about this. You know what I didn't bring was another bowl, so we'll have to, maybe, uh, I bet I can mix it in this cup measure. What do you think? I've probably got enough room in here. Let's, uh, need to add some water. So I'm going to put some water in here right now. So if you don't see me for just a second, just got to add a little bit of water. And let's see if we got enough here. Uh, maybe we got a little too much. Just a quarter cup of water, though. I can't believe that adding that little bit of water is going to be enough to make a yummy brownie. And I've had a lot of brownies, so I, I know what a brownie is supposed to be like. And we're going to find out. I'm not so sure about this, but well, maybe we should try. I mean, just because it's easy doesn't mean that it won't be good. Maybe easy is good. And that makes me think of a story about a man named Naaman. And he was a military commander. And even though sometimes military commanders could be pretty rough guys and tough guys, he was well liked. He was actually a very nice man and was good to his people. And he had a problem though. He, he was sick. He had leprosy. And back in those times, back a long time ago, there was nothing they could really do for it. Just, uh, you just have it and you'd get sicker with it and other people couldn't be around you. You'd end up having to be isolated away from friends and family and just be all on your own. So it wasn't really good. Not at all. It wasn't good for anybody to have leprosy. I mean, nobody wants to have that today either, but uh, there was nothing that could be done back then. So Naaman has this disease and he's very ill. There's nothing that can, no cure for him. So a servant of his says she knows that there is somebody, an Israelite, who could help him. There's a prophet named Elisha, and Elisha could tell him how to be made well. I'm going to scoop this into the pan here. So he goes to find Elisha, find out what he needs to do. Well, Elisha doesn't even want to go out and see Naaman. Now Naaman's a commander. He's a pretty high-ranking guy, pretty important guy in the army, and he expects to be treated, you know, like an important guy. Well, Elisha just says, tells the servant, this is what he needs to do. Elisha doesn't want to come out and hold his hand or 
hang out with him for a while. He just wants him to take the, the direction that he has for him, that God has prepared for him, and go on his way. Well, what he's supposed to do is go down to the water, right there, and wash up. He's supposed to go in the water and dunk himself in there, and he'll be clean. At least, that's what Elisha has said to him. All you got to do is wash yourself there, and you'll be cured. Well, come on. Really? I mean, how many times have we gone to a doctor and we find out we have to not only... So let's put this in the microwave. We don't put, put us in the microwave. Don't do that. Um, and we'll see if this works here. Get that cooking. So Elisha tells him, hey, just go, go down to the river here. Go wash up. You'll be fine. And Naaman says, no way. It's, it's too easy. And like I said, when we go to the doctor, sometimes we have to go back again a couple of times, or if we have to go and get stitches, and then they have to be taken out. There can be a lot of stuff even for us to go, not just, oh, go dunk yourself in the river for a little bit and hop on out and you'll be all made well. But that's what he's told. He's told that's all he has to do. Just go wash yourself in the water, and when you come out, leprosy will be gone. Well, Naaman's not very happy about this, and he doesn't want to do it. He said, I have better rivers back home. I can go to the rivers back home. They're much cleaner, much nicer. i got a whole beach, and, and I've got my umbrella and my, my, uh, my little floaty rings and everything else. I can go out in the water and have a good time. If, if that's what it is, it's too easy. can't work. But he tries it anyway. He has somebody with him that convinces him and says, well, if it would have been something really difficult, would you have done it? He said, absolutely, I would have done anything. And this, this person tells him, well, why won't you do something that's easy? So he thinks about it says, all right, I'll go wash up in this man, dirty river. And he goes in the water. And when he comes out of the water, follows the directions Elisha gives him. He follows the direction that God told Elisha to share with Naaman. When Naaman comes out of the water, he looks, and the leprosy's gone. He's well. Just from that, God has healed him. God has made him well just from washing in the water. Naaman can't believe it. Just that's all he needed. That's all it was, was being washed in the water. Well, we might think of that same thing. It's just as easy for us. What do we have to do to be claimed by God as one of his children? Well be washed in the water. When we're baptized, God claims us as his child. And what do you have to do for that? When you were a baby and you were baptized, what did you do? Did you, did you uh, give the pastor a $50 bill and say, here, take care of this? Or did you uh, go somewhere, you had to go to the top of a, a, a Mount Everest, and then that's where you would get your baptism, and you'd get some snow from there and bring it back, and we'd melt it, and that's how you'd be baptized? You didn't have to do any of those things. God claimed you in those waters and said, you're mine made you his own. Let's see what we got going on here. It was that easy. That's how God claimed you. And the waters of baptism said, you're my child. I will wash you clean and I will forgive your sins and I will make sign of the cross. It's going to be made, marked on your forehead forever. You belong to me now. You're my child and I will wash you clean. Just as Naaman was washed clean in what he considered a pretty dirty river, God healed him there. We're washed clean in the waters of baptism. It was that easy. It was that easy for us. Now Jesus came and it was rough for him what he had to do for us and the suffering he went through, but he did that so that it'd be pretty easy for us to have salvation, to be made clean of our sins. Well, the brownie, according to this, the brownie is done. And I'm going to reach down here. I'm going to grab a fork. Let's see. Is it really that easy? Just add a little bit of water. Is that all we have to do is just wash in the river? Is it all we have to do is 
just have God wash us clean in the waters of baptism? You know what? Just a little bit of water. That worked. Just a little bit of water and we have a pretty good tasting brownie. Just a little bit of water and the word and promise of God. And we have eternal life. We have salvation. We have a home forever because we've been washed clean in the name of Jesus. Just a little bit of water and the promise of God. That's all that we needed.